hey you guys welcome and welcome back to mom jeans by that case i hope you are all doing well okay <sighs> deep breaths <sighs> okay one more oh <sighs> okay so listen there are so many things within our society that I feel like people are starting to talk about more. And I think it's really great. I think it's really good that we're starting to talk about things more that are affecting us in life in a negative way. And one thing that I think is really important for all of us to start talking about more is our childhood. Now, the reason that I want to talk about this is because I realized that I struggle deeply with communication. I struggle so deeply with communication that sometimes I don't even communicate at all. Like there are things that I want to say or I'll be thinking about saying. And you may notice this when I film these videos and when you see me speak on these videos that I struggle with communication due to the fact that I'm thinking about so many things and my mind is just racing. And when it comes out, it doesn't come out clearly. Like, like it causes a block or I start sh just like that. I start questioning myself or trying to straighten out what it is that I'm trying to say instead of just saying it the way that I really want to say it. So basically what I'm trying to say now as I work on this is that my childhood really affected the way that I communicate and different relationships that I had as a child affected the way that I communicate now. It's just so much child like it's just so much and I feel like a lot of us need to realize that our childhood is ruining our lives, okay? The reason why I basically felt like this topic was important is because of the fact that I've really been doing a lot of self-reflection. And if you guys don't already know me, I hope that you get to know me and you understand why I feel like this. Also, be sure to like the video, subscribe, do all the things. Because of the fact that I've done a lot of self-reflection and that I continue to do a lot of self-reflection on myself, I have found different ways that I'm stifled in my life. I've found different ways that I, you know, kind of hold myself back or maybe even question myself in situations. And I feel like a lot of it is because of the way that I experienced things as a child that I haven't really dealt with. I'm not gonna necessarily get too deep with y'all because, you know, some things are still for me. But I know from my memories that when I was young, I always felt like people didn't listen to me. Like I was the kid who immediately knew all the answers in class. Like I immediately knew what to say. Like I, I already knew what the answer was. The teacher could barely get a statement or a question out before I was finishing their sentence or raising my hand because I had the answer to the question. But uh, a lot of times I wouldn't get called on and the person who would get called on would have the wrong answer. And I was like, what? Okay, wh what? what's going on? Like, <laughs> pay attention. You, you don't even see right here all of this. So it was like, oh, shot to the ego, shot to the confidence. And I was always feeling that way. I was always experiencing those things. And it even happened when I was a kid, like in my own house, like in my own home, where I was definitely very observant as a child. And I always knew that things were going on around me. So side note to you parents out there, stop acting like your kid can't see what's going on. But I always was very observant in that way. And I would have a lot of things that I really wanted to say, but it would be really difficult for me to say it. 
And I feel like it was because I learned early on that when I would say things based on the people's responses around me, that it wouldn't be valued or it wouldn't be taken into consideration. This is not necessarily fact. This is just something that happens when you're in different situations with pe different people and you mash up a group of people who have many different social dynamics and who have many different personality dynamics as well. So it wasn't really about me. It wasn't necessarily something that was my fault or something that I was necessarily the cause of. The problem didn't stem from what I was doing. But as a child in that childhood mind, I took that on as something that I was doing wrong or I took it on as something that was basically caused by what I was doing and that's not actually true. So doing different self-reflection techniques like just journaling i've been you know hollering at y'all about journaling since the 2024 video and it's really something that has helped me communicate with myself and i feel open up the level of communication that i'm able to project out onto the world i see that my childhood is literally fucking up my life like the ways that my brain and my mind breaks things down as an adult is basically an outdated version of how how I was breaking things down as a child. And that's one thing that I really think a lot of us within society, within the world as individuals don't understand. Like we don't understand the fact that a lot of the decisions that we make and a lot of the things that we consider when it comes to making decisions are based on an outdated belief system. It's based on the belief system that we had when we were maybe like six to 13 or even maybe eight to 15 or any time in those childhood years or adolescent years where we were still growing. So I'm just saying, you know, I'm not trying to call you out or act like you don't have it figured out for your own life. But what I am saying is that your childhood is probably f***ing up your life. Your childhood and your memories or the way that you process information, the way that you show up as an adult is probably an outdated version of your kid brain. And it's not necessarily the reality. Like it's not necessarily what's true about you. Let me breathe. Okay, that's why I breathe. That, that's why I was doing deep breaths at the beginning of the video because this is not easy to necessarily talk about, but it's a lot of what we as adults don't understand. And for people who are in older generations who may not be as aware of this within themselves, they kind of project that and perpetuate that onto younger generations. And I feel like now as we evolve, as people do, we're starting to realize these different ways that we basically stand in our own way. And that's something that I don't want to do anymore. Like I had to really realize that what I have to say matters. And it wasn't just necessarily like older family members not listening to me because I did have a lot of older family members. My mom was older when she had me. She was over 30 and child, she lied to me about her age for several years. And she would always be like, don't tell people. Okay. She'd be like, don't tell people how old I am. That is personal business that you keep in the house and don't leave the house. And I was like, why? And it was probably because she knew that people would know that she was lying about how old she was when she had me okay but no I grew up with a lot of people who were older they were of an older generation and not only were they of an older generation in terms of like how they raised me but they were of a mindset that kind of children are supposed to be seen and not heard <laughs> type of thing they were definitely in that mindset of you be quiet children are supposed to be seen and not heard and you stay over there or you play in the corner or you go in the back room and play back there with the other kids because we have an adult conversations but I was always like I was always peeping the adult conversations I would have input in those conversations or I would have things that would pop up in my mind as far as like the different dilemmas that they were talking about the different subject matter that I was observing them talk about and I'd be like oh but if you would just do this and just do that then it wouldn't be a problem like I had the solution then it continued into the whole situation when I was at school and I felt like I wouldn't get called on and then it trickled into personal relationships with people who I was trying to make friends with where a conversation would be going on and then whenever I would try to interject and speak it's like nobody would listen to me or they would cut me off or they would over talk me and it basically snowballed and mutated into this adult version of myself where I don't even say anything I don't even bother to speak up I don't even use my energy to really add input to a conversation unless I just can't help it because it you know 
the type of person that I am, I just can't help it sometimes. Like sometimes when I hear a bunch of tomfoolery and bullshit being discussed, I really cannot help but to say, oh, wait, 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 wait. But, but no, 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 no. And that's how I get into it. Cause it's like, whatever you're saying sounds dumb. It sounds stupid. It sounds dumb. And even if it's not necessarily dumb in real life or it's not stupid in real life, my perspective is just different on the situation. And I'm not trying to say people are dumb or stupid. I think everyone's opinion matters to a certain degree, but there are some times where people are just misinformed and you as an individual watching this may feel the same way sometimes in your relationships or in conversations that you have where you may know because of your personal experience that a group of people or a conversation that's happening amongst a group could have some details that people are sh sharing or saying that come from a place that's misinformed and you may want to say something but because of how you've been socialized as a child or as an adolescent you feel like you putting in your piece, your two cents, or you adding in some type of input isn't worth it or it's not going to be valued. And I'm here to tell you that it is worth it and it is to be valued. Now, there are other situations where childhood trauma may place a role. And please be advised, I am not a doctor, lawyer, or psychologist. I'm just a random young lady on YouTube who is sharing my opinions of things. But this is my personal example of some of my childhood trauma. It has even multiplied for me when it comes to communication into corporate environments and work situations where I've known that a situation could be resolved in a certain way, but I didn't really share that resolution because I felt like no one would listen to me. And there have been times on the flip side where I've still shared that opinion and people have come at me in a way that was dismissive. Like they didn't really see what I had to say as valuable. And it, you know, it's unfortunate because it kind of reinforced <sighs> the insecurity within me. And that's why I struggle sometimes with these videos, but it really made me notice it when I was speaking about going to the cabin and meeting new people, socializing with new people. It really pointed a spotlight on the ways that I struggle to communicate. And I realized how this particular portion of childhood trauma has stagnated my life. Like it stifled my growth in life. Even when it comes to this channel, even when it comes to me portraying authentically who I am, and I just don't want people to feel like they're alone in this. I don't want you guys who are watching to feel like you're the only ones who deal with this because there's a lot of things that we're starting to talk about more now in society. And I feel like it's opening up the door to communication and brainstorming and changes that we can make collectively to become more evolved people. Now, this particular example of childhood trauma may not be something that you've experienced in your life, but I'm pretty sure that each and every one of you watching have experienced some type of childhood trauma where you have felt that your growth was stifled or where you see remnants and ghosts of that trauma replaying itself within your adult life. And I'm telling you, it, it, it's baby, okay, baby blue, honey, okay, it's time for us to work on it. We've got to do something about it because we're doing ourselves and our communities disservices when we don't address the things that are holding us back. And I'm not trying to get all serious on y'all because, you know, honestly, the tears and the waterworks, they come real easy for me. And I have tended to lately hold it back because everybody doesn't respond well to that. But I do feel that a lot of us in the public don't realize genuinely how much the ways that we were hurt and the ways that we may have been victimized as children, whether it was something grand or something a little bit smaller, but still important, we don't realize how that affects us as adults and how it dictates the way that we show up as adults. And sometimes in like the worst case scenarios, we don't realize how our projection of that onto other people can cause more trauma or it can cause more damage as well, even if we weren't intentionally out to hurt someone or we weren't intentionally trying to maybe put someone down or trigger them. I guess what I want to say is that your childhood is ruining your life. Okay, the things that you experienced as a child that were unpleasant for you or the things that you experienced as a child that may have hurt you in some way, shape or form or that stuck with you on a deep cerebral level, okay, that's 
it is ruining your life. And I feel like I just wanted to make this video because I wanted us all to be more aware of it. I wanted us all to see it. I wanted us all to take a second to look at how that little girl or that little boy or that little person inside of you may be making decisions currently in your adult state, in your conscious waking form, in a way that mirrors those experiences and how that could be determining the outcome that you receive in your life. Because if you want to do better or you want to be more or you want to be greater, whatever you strive to be, whatever you aspire to do or have in your life, I feel like you deserve to have it. If it's something that won't really hurt anyone else, but maybe bring benefit to your life or the life of your lineage, whether it may bring benefit to the community, I feel like we all deserve to have that piece of ourselves be shown in a true way, in a clear way, in an unobstructed way. And that's what I've really been working on as an individual, as a human being. Like, honestly, I've been really trying to work on the way that I show up in the world because I can see ways that cyclic behavior has not only hurt me, but it's hurt other people in my life. And I don't want to be that person anymore. Like, I don't want to have anything that I do or that I say repercussively affect another person in a way where they would have to kind of grapple with that or shovel that out. Like, I would never want to do that. And I know I've done that and I can't change the past. All I can do is work on myself to be greater for the future. So if you've been really striving to have more and do more and really reach your goals on a level that you've never reached them before, I guarantee you that one of the first things that you need to do is look at your childhood. Look at how you grew up. Look at the repetitive things that have happened in your life that are kind of like a, a, a nightmarish deja vu cocktail smoothie that you just can't seem to escape. And I guarantee you, if you look at those things and if you see how those things have really changed the way that you either see the world or the way that you show up in the world, you will have pieces to the puzzle that are added in that help bring you a solution to whatever it is that you've been struggling with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you. As always, be sure to like the video and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. You know, we just chilling over here, going through these shenanigans. So if you enjoy the conversations and the things that we're talking about, please be sure to subscribe. Please be sure to like the video. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you thought of this subject matter. Share with us, okay, if you feel comfortable, some of the childhood trauma trauma that you've been overcoming and the ways that you've noticed how that childhood trauma affects your life. And maybe if you've come out of it, share with us and share with others in the community how digging that up has really benefited your life in a positive way and what you've noticed coming out on the other side. As always, you guys, I love y'all. I'll see y'all next time and enjoy your day.